everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I am Hobo Tango, King of the Noob, and you're watching Steel Division 2. All right, everyone, thanks for joining. I wanted to cast this game because some people have difficulties with map, and I believe my opening with this map is awesome. So, um... I wanted to, to cast this game um, mostly for my clan, but I figured I'd do a public video with all of that. Now, when you play this game, one strategy I like to do a lot is to spam this area here. Because the enemy never expects that. He's, he doesn't expect you to go right in the open, unprotected, undefended, you know, by... Uh, by uh, by forest or or anything he just doesn't expect it most often he'll have a weak unit take for this flag and most often he'll have all of this all of his defenses in this edge here and then you can swoop in here you can take this flag easily and then on top of that you can come in on this road and actually shoot them from behind while your units are coming from that road and these guys are being sandwiched it's a very risky opening, but I do love it, and this is why I'm showing it right here. And uh, I've actually featured that opening in a previous video of mine that uh, ended up in a win. So over here, we're going to have two Ognomachiki. They're, one of them is going to come in here for the flag. The other one's going to be coming here just to be extra annoying and in order to capture this flag. And as you can see, the enemy doesn't have much going on around here. One Ersatz, one of Clara, you know. And then I have three SG-43. Um, they're all coming to unload on this road just to be extra annoying. Three might have been too much, but the thing is, just in case the enemy has something shooting them down, I want at least one of them to make it there. So this is why I have three. Then I have um, two Zis-2s and one 37 mil. 37 mil is going to be coming here. Zis-2s are going to be coming here to shoot down reinforcing tanks or whatever. And um, over here I got SG-43, a ZIS-2, a 37mm. They're all going to take position around here. And I'm going to have two M M Hemcha um, attacking over there. And I got the Gavardia, Saperi, and Razvedka. These guys are going to be coming here for a classic uh, move and then walk the rest of the way. And hopefully capture this. So I think with this, my enemy is going to be completely overwhelmed around here. <laughs> this is where it gets dangerous. Is you don't have a lot of points. So <laughs> over here, you go with one flamer and one flamer. That's 30 points for my entire middle left flank. And so. But the right though. The right is going to have a lot of stuff. And hopefully it's going to work out. Um... He's going to be opening with Tiger E's, Grille, Flak 43, 37 mil, Pioneer with Half Track, um, and some Alclara Ersas Truppen. So you see, he, he does have a lot of big, scary stuff, especially against, you know, my divisions, um, my troops. I don't have much that can pose a danger to him, um, technically. I do have the Zis 2s, though, so we're going to be counting on them a lot. Um, over here, he's only going with a pack 36 here and a pentagon idea here. So I was lucky. I was really lucky that he's actually not going to attack around here. A lot of players will go strong for this side because you've got one, two, three, four flags that if you capture this, it gets way easier to capture this around here. So a lot of players will actually attack here. So this is really uh, playing Russian ru Russian roulette. And um, over here, it, it ended up being great. He's not even going for this. He's not even going for these two houses. I think he really expected me to go hard here. And he told himself, I'm going to lightly defend. Because it's easy for him to 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 capture back these places. Um, he's got roads and uh, it's a frontal engagement. And he must have told him himself, like, I'm going to be really hard around here. Let's start the game. He's going to be playing on a Maverick income. I'm going to be playing on a Balance income. 
Third Meg versus Fifth Panzer. DO215 Recon Ari coming in at two star. These guys are really hard to kill. And two star Recon can always see more than um, more than regular Recon. So now he, he, he might notice his mistake here. Or maybe not. Maybe he doesn't. Um, but he definitely noticed there's a lot of stuff coming in here. And now he's going to notice there's absolutely nothing coming in here. He's not changing his uh, deployment, though. Like, maybe he could have called these guys back um, into here. Over here, MG versus MG. SG-43 will win because they got 40 suppression. The MG-42 has 20. Now, he's got these dude there. I'm just going to keep going, actually. I'm, I'm not... Like, these guys, they need to pass through. So, I'm not going to do anything. But I am going to unload one of these this two, though. One SG-43 gets unloaded. Once this two unloads. Now, Flamer captures this. And there you go. One machine gun actually makes it over here. Going to be able to shoot at some stuff. Over here, he uh, will go into that forest. Exactly where my Razvetka Bazooka units are. The Grille going to pose some more of a problem. He's calling it pack 40s but I don't have any tank here. So that's fine. Uh, he's got some... Flyman Werfer is coming in with um, an expensive APCR units. I don't know why he does that. It's weird, in my opinion. He doesn't change anything at all here, even though, you know, he knows I got nothing. I'm going to start bo boosting the, the ranks a little bit around here because I'm scared that he's going to be pushing, right? Grille is actually a big nuisance right now. I'm calling in more Partizani infantry. I'm having these guys on the move order. I saw the tiger there. I saw these troops, but I wanted them. Oh, nice penetration on that tiger. Tiger kind of miss. I get to damage the Flight 43, and I actually make it true. Because I wanted to go and destroy that grill because that grill was a big, was a really big threat to everything around here. So, um, yeah. I figured one m -shot would be good enough to attack and the other one I wanted to get rid of his uh, Flag 43 before the Tiger uh, came back. But the Tiger is already coming back. He's badly damaged though. I'm coming in here with the m -shot. Unfortunately, um, well, fortunately, we do destroy the Tiger and we destroy the Flag 43. So that's devastating for him um, early in the phase like that. Pack 36 with the heat rocket destroys the Amcha. Grilly still safe, but he's uh, incapacitated, that's for sure. Over here, uh, there's still nothing happening, but this guy is uh, going to be taking position around here. I'm having SU-76s being called, just, you know, just in case. I got a P-39NO Cobra. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm counting on the 37 mil bullets to really damage these SEKZ. Pack 40 is going to be shooting at the MCHA here. I see this. I'm going to try to retreat, uh, you know, as best I can. But there is a Pentagonadier here. He actually misses and the MCHA lives. Partizanis. Partisans are coming in. These guys have the Molotov cocktail. Really, really good um, CQC units. I'm having a 37 mil here. My 37 mil died from, I think, the Grilly. Pack 40 will be able to suppress us. Fokker Wolf coming in. I'm sweeping in from behind with the P39. The Flammenwerfer enemy will be killed by the SG-43. I was scared that he would ambush me with a, a second F uh, Fokker Wolf, but I figured the risk was good enough. But eventually, um, I missed, and I'm going to have to retreat. Almost capturing this flag. It is now 15-9 for me. And see, this is what I'm talking about, how... Um, oh, wow. My plane actually died from this guy. 
seem like this guy anyway this is what i'm talking about how this opening is great because the enemy doesn't expect that and uh, but you you need machine gun you need anti-tank you need anti-air you need fast moving stuff he's gonna be calling uh some airsats some Panzer grenadier he's gonna be moving in uh probably sh well anyway it doesn't matter it actually doesn't matter but I kind of stopped reinforcing around here because I saw he wasn't really doing a lot of moves. Shooting at the Ersatz rather than the Panzer Grenadier. Kind of frustrating, but look at them. They're, oh, there you go. They're going to change. Will one of them die? Mm, no. He actually unloaded. And there you go. The Grille. Uh, looks like it's the same one. Actually... Still a pain in the bottom. Over here, I'm calling in my 82 mil um, motorcycle. What else am I calling? Some SG-43. More machine gun to come in here. But actually, these guys made it through. 16.8 now for me. I got two bazooka units coming in. One will go down, and the other will survive. Alright, now I'm going to be calling in some smoke uh, to try to deter these guys. He sees that, so he's going to move on the left. But I also got smoke coming in around here. Now, the goal of these motorcycle for me, when I created this deck, was to provide smoke. So this is what I intended to do. I'm going to try to move in with the Razvedka and kill that pack 40. I saw there was a Panzer Grenadier here. So I retreated this SG-43 as far back as I could. So that I could shoot this guy from a distance. And there you go. Now he's, he's starting to move in on my left flank. SG-43 is going to do short work of the Panzer Grenadier. I've moved the 37mm further up in, in order to, to deter these guys up. Bunch of smoke here is going to be helping the Razvedka. 1410 as he captures um, a flag here. Captures this flag. SU-76 will be doing its job. There you go. He's calling in pack 40. And this guy's got the strange habit of calling in everything with a half track. They are only five points, I guess, you know. So it's not bad. Who's shooting? Oh, yeah, Mcha around here. My reinforcement. So he's going to stop uh, picking at him. All right, and the uh, flak 43 about to die, but obviously m with my luck, he won't die. It is now 1410. I have the I have the mortars shooting all over here. There you go. Grilly finally dead. He calls in a Tiger E to kill the Emcha, which is a good move. I fall back um because I figured maybe there's something around here. Uh, and in fact, there is a pack 40. And uh, I think maybe I did fall back because of that pack 40. All right. Over here, he's captured um, this land. But I'm moving in with the Sapiris. I'm having the SU-76 shoot at this pack 36. And I've also came around here with a small task force. Task Force Channel Mayev. And they're going to be uh, reconning the area, moving in slowly. He's only got a half track here, but you know, I don't know that. Whew, I almost lost my voice there. Um, all right. I called in the Hemcha here. Got killed by the Panzer Shrek. Uh, right in the open. I can't. 
kill that Pencil Strike, but I, I, I am moving forward to try and kill it. Um, you know, might as well. As far as reinforcement, I'm calling in some SU-76s. I've got more Dushkas coming in around here, but now he's starting to call in the Panthers. Over here, I'm pushing these guys back. Pack 40 is going to be shooting at the SU-76. going to take me a bit to, to see that. Um, uh, event eventually, I'm going to retreat to safety. All right, Ogden Bichiki will die. I will lose this flag, which will be uh, put it at 13-11 now. It's starting to be a little bit dangerous, but he is playing on a Maverick income. And you know what? I've severely hampered him. So it's going to be quite hard for him to get back on track. Although he does have some big tanks. And uh, my tanks are a little flimsy. They are strong, but they're, they're kind of weak. Now, I'm manually targeting these lines because I think maybe there's, you know, flamers around there. So I'm going to manually shoot my frag HE. Unfortunately, there, there was no one there. <laughs> so, so that's too bad. I'm going to move in the carrier Dushkas to try to spot and shoot from the flank any enemy infantry that might be there. He's going to throw his satchel. He's going to move out. I'm going to move out. I'm going to move this guy back there. There you go. Missed his target. Kayo Dushka will be able to shoot at him unless he gets killed by... And he will. Might get killed by back 36 though. Yeah. But... Ah. Uh. Over here, I've uh, made a, a V formation of Partizani. This is just to hold the tight. You know, the goal as a balanced player when you play against Maverick is really just to hold the, the tide. Um, you don't want to be too aggressive, but you also don't want to be too defensive. So, you know, this is kind of just what I do. I'm going to be calling in some Valentine 9, two stars each. I'm calling in a 37 mil. And um, 37 mils coming in with ammo trucks. This might be a mistake. Uh, but there you go. Critical hit on the Panther. So now he can't shoot while I shoot with the SU-76. I'm having the Zis-2 kill these guys as well. Now, okay, so critical loader knocked out, so now it's going to be taking a long time for him to reload. I'm having a lot of luck here, but for how long can I make this last? I mean, one thir they, they do 135 mil damage. 105 mil with the AP, and these guys have 130 mil. So, and it doesn't look like they are shooting APCR, so shooter knocked out. So I'm having a lot of luck here. Oh, SU-76 being targeted by the Falker Wolf and the Panzer IV from the flank. I'm not killing him. I'm having an Emcha on fast move order, but he gets destroyed by the Panzer IV. This guy misses. That's how suppressed he is. And the SU-76 gets shot by the Panzer IV, but survives. And now he's going to have to fall back while we uh, knocked out this driver. This Zist 2 is being shot at by the Pentagon Adir. And my airplanes are being shot at by Flak 43. And uh, this guy is not going to last long. Over here, I'm, I, was ha I was trying to support these guys with him uh, moving in to get the, the Panzer 4 kill. I did a lot of damage on this guy. Uh, well, actually, I didn't. Uh, just a lot of suppression, it looks like. Oh, 37 mil dead by Grilly. Alright, SU-76 will kill the... Ah, he actually misses. Two-star misses the first shot. Okay. There you go. Good penetration there. 
I uh, fortunately that Panzer IV missed, and now I kill it. This too is gonna be. Who is he targeting? Targeting a uh, Degrilly. Misses, and it's not gonna have another chance at that. Over here, I called in the BM 824 82 mil. I'm gonna be uh, shooting around here, try to support my infantry. This too, be shooting at Degrilly. Who will shoot first? Me, I will. Bailed out. There you go. That's good news. I've got the SU-76 around here. That Panther is still doing a lot of damage. Over here, my V formation of Partizani is being completely destroyed by a lot of half-track. He's moving in a lot of troops. He's got the uh, off-map. He's calling in more Flak 43 with the half-tracks as well. And the Panther will retreat. I'm calling in Razvedka. Hopefully, you know, a uh, 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 bazooka in here with the Karyodushka could do some great work. This too will shoot at the Panther from the side and kills it. Although he had time to, to move in, but uh, the game calculates when the shooter shoots. And when he shot, the Panther was on its side. Alright, I'm having these guys wait in the middle of the road. Um, I figured, you know. And uh, these guys are going to be shooting. And hopefully I'll be able to, to move in. It is 12-12. Falker Wolf will destroy the Sis 2. Carrier Dushka dies from uh, something, the Tiger most likely. Alright, there you go. Everyone here is suppressed. We're going to move in. Although there is a pack 40 now. And these guys are really slow. And I had a lot of difficulty getting them to move in. So one by one, um, they would have died. So I've unloaded them and decided to walk the rest. He's getting some off-map. Emcha is going to be shooting at the back 40. Shooting the uh, last couple rounds I had left in there. Emcha dies. Over here, I'm having some Partizani unload. Got the SU-85. I've got lots of these, so I'm calling in a bunch. Because uh, I know he's going to have more Panthers coming in. And Grille that I need to destroy. These guys are holding the line pretty great. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm I'm keeping my Valentine safe from the Tiger. I know a Valentine can destroy a Tiger. Um, but I'm still trying to keep it safe. Now, as you see, I see the Tiger moving in. Soon I'm going to fall back around here. These guys are stuck shooting their HE when I want them to shoot at the Tiger. Watch the most frustrating thing ever happen to ever happen in the history of this game. Now I decided to quick quick move them over there. But one's gonna be uh, Yeah. Now you see they got their HE shells. So instead of moving around here, they're actually stopping to shoot these guys while under fire from the tiger. I should have put some smoke from these guys, but I decided to shoot at the uh, with the HE shells. And now I'm just, uh, I'm so pissed off right now. I removed the HE. I was like, uh, don't bother going there. You'll get killed anyway on the way. So I figured let's just attack and see what happens. I've already lost this fight. But there you go. I get a penetration. I've got these mortars landing. That's going to help with the suppression. And he actually dies. So that was pretty great. I got some Partizani here, uh, really slowing these these guys' advance. And now I've built some, uh, got a Zistri around here. I got a Zistri coming in the middle of the road. I got another Zistri coming in for the hill, because I see these guys are advancing. And I've got that SU-76 still over here, doing some good job. Not missing 
I've also got some bombers. I think, yeah, the IL-4 with 1k bombs. These guys are going to do some great work. I'm going to try to hit that pack 40 a little bit before I die. And this tree is going to be able to move in. Oh, right on that off map. I didn't even notice that when I was playing. Oh, that's going to hurt. He's calling in another off map over there. There you go. Off map dead. He's only used it once. So that was pretty great. And over here, I'm going to be shelling these guys. Another off map is coming in. A panther just died from the Razvetka on the hill. Um, eventually, I'm going to be trying to go for that grille. And I mean, oh boy, it is downhill from now on because I have unlimited income. Um, defeat in 10 minutes. Pack 40 is going to be shooting at the Zistri, but I think the Zistri is going to do a better job um, than the Pack 40 in terms of HE+. Plus. I've got these guys over here on the side as well. I I, I took I usually take the Zistris and put them on flanks like that because they have the HE rounds on them. They, they have a 10, I think. Or maybe... They have 13 HE rounds. So I like them for that. They, they often disappoint, but... At a distance, they can do pretty well. I'm having these guys target the off map and then the machine gun. 1311 for me. Defeat in 9 minutes 30 seconds. This Grilly actually, you know, got the better of us here. He's stuck to the middle road. I've got Zistri's all around 1212 now as he recaptures the, the middle town. He's manually targeting here. He's got an off map coming in around there. Not killing the off map, but uh, oh well. Doing a lot of good work here with the Zistries. Like these are capital. And this guy now only has like 80 points. He's not going to be able to call in Panthers. He's just lost the Grille around here. These guys are replaceable at 60 points. And there you go. He actually disconnected. And I'm being really, really doubtful about that. Big Dog, he's has 90 defeats, 342 victories. Actually, that confirms to me. Because when I looked at his profile when he disconnected, he had 89 defeats. And now he's got 90. So I have to assume this is from me, obviously. But I thought that uh, he disconnected on purpose just because he didn't, didn't want to lose. Um, when him and High play, and, and I mean, he always wins. This is my first victory against him. My first or second. He most often always win. Um, he never disconnect when we when he wins. Um, so I thought it was strange, but anyway, it did count as a defeat for him. I'm glad to be one of his 90 defeat. Um, he always plays fifth Panzer. The kills was in his favor for uh, for 35. He actually killed himself 15 points, so probably he killed an ersatz of his somehow. Because I only killed 1,900 of his. Um, yeah. Emcha. Look at this. Emcha killed the tiger. A flag 43. A grille. Some aftrack and... Depends a good idea. Wow. That was really awesome. I think I did a lot of good move with my units. Um, the SU-76 um, did good. They definitely did good. They, they did what their purpose was for, was to hold the tide. And look at all the ZKZ. The 259, these are recon units, so that's always good. This guy got a Panzer IV, so, you know, that's that's a good exchange in my book. This two got some stuff, a Panther, a Grilly, a Panzer Shrek, and a Half Track. My Mortars actually did a lot of good as well. I'm surprised to see that. Um... 
this three got the pack 40 the uh, 1k bomber has the off map the Razvedka got the panther so overall a lot uh, a lot of losses for him um, his grillet definitely did a lot of damage to me uh, this is dangerous territory another grillet here did a lot of damage panther 4 did a lot of damage as well killed both uh, su-76 plus an amcha um, that's a devastating tiger e killed a valentine and su-85 overall you know his units did pretty good uh, just not good enough was not good enough for my opening on this map sleuths west i love opening that way well guys thanks for watching i will see you another day another time goodbye have fun